boy. Did I ever make a boo-boo? Yeah, that don't look very nice. Got a fuel pump. And we'll level out. Pulled apart the fuel pump. This cute little eclipse there. Oh, there's the fuel pump right there. Wow, she's already getting less. Yeah, anyways. Inside. Cool little thing. That's too bad. I made a big mistake. So here is my vent line for my fuel tank. Sweet. You can just you can see mud right on the inside there too. Made a mistake. So originally, I had to vent it all the way up until it one day I filled her too full and it started shooting gas. So I pulled it down and pushed it down real quick. Well, my last time mudding, just kind of screw in some fuel or some mud. Yep. Ooh. My pump may turn on, but I don't have a gauge on it, so I don't know exactly what kind of pressures, if it's maybe lost pressures, but I gotta take that line off now and clean out all the gunk that's probably got in it. I don't know if this injector, how it, how they take to mud, but oops. That's too bad. So it wasn't electrical. Fucking just mud. So I think once I clean it out, she should start up no problem at all, but chunks that got in there through that vent line. <laughs> you can see the water separated from the from the fuel. Awesome. No oh, man, and I had it fixed. Like I say, the only reason I done something so silly like that is having the vent line down. Because when I overfilled it, and then the gas started expanding because it was cold in the hot tank, if Reagan shot out the overflow, shot out the breather tube. Oh, I gotta clean everything. Well, post how the condition is. I'm probably just going to clean her all up, take that injector out and see if I can actually actually get it to shoot out friggin' fuel by just cranking the engine over. But what a little setup for this friggin' Here's the really cool little friggin' system. That's so awesome. This is pretty friggin' smart little lid. And I want a little spot for your freaking fuel pump. Hmm. What the heck is that? And that bolt that holds down the freaking sensor bar. Oh, a spacer. Ooh, now I'm gonna have some freaking issues probably figuring that out just by freaking losing a spacer. Eh. Damn. Um, I changed the fuel pump not that long ago in the Paris. What a garbagey setup. This is incredible, man. Freaking baffles the fuel inside this nice little canister. And fuel pump clicks in there real nice. And there is that beautiful fuel friggin' strainer. It's not really a filter, it's more like a strainer. So it's amazing to see how much dirt. All it did was strain it. <laughs> yeah. 
so we'll see where this thing goes. So yeah, very good. <laughs> I have made this thing so much harder for myself. <laughs> oh, so so two main things that I'll always make sure now is I'll always have the vent rooted to the airbox. I am not gonna mix and match and play with that. I'm gonna actually probably friggin' root it right inside the actual plenum so it only sucks in filtered air. And then always grease your friggin' axle boots, or take your axles out and grease those splines. You'll never like yourself if you do that. <laughs> 